what is gene therapy? So the basic definition is really manipulation of genetic material. And when we're talking about genetic material, specifically we're talking about DNA or RNA. Um, and when we're manipulating it, we're talking about introducing it or removing it or changing it. And these are um, uh, the DNA or the RNA in the cells of the patient. Um, and when we're manipulating it or introducing it, removing it or changing it, it's to treat a disease, whether that disease be an inherited disease or a developed disease. So this diagram I have here is an example of the CAR-T process. So it really starts on the far left of the slide with apheresis. Um, and it's pulling um, the patient's blood cells um, from the patient during the apheresis process. Um, and then we move on to this first portion of the process. Um, our little orange and blue circles there would be the patient cells or blood cells. And it goes through a sorting process. So in the CAR-T process, we would be sorting out the specific CAR-T cells, um, which are our little blue circles there. We move those cells into the lab um, and they would go through an engineering process, a laboratory process um, to actually do that manipulation of um, the genetic material and change those um, genes. They would go through an expansion phase in the lab. So the growing of the cells um, to expand the number of CAR T cells um, because we wanna have um, a specific number of cells before we put that material back into the patient. And then on the far right, the infusion, the cells go back into the patient. All right, Troy, next slide. All right, so um, another route of administration, um, another commonly used method is a vector. So, in the last slide, we talked about manipulation of RNA or DNA. Um, this can be done by using a vector and a vector can be delivered directly into the body. Um, it's commonly a virus which can be delivered into the body um, or the vector can be used in the cell therapy. So um, cell therapy is using cells from the patient which would be autologous use or cells from a donor, which would be allogeneic use. Um, and those cells are then modified and then put back into the body. So as I discussed on the previous slide, um, in cell therapy, those cells are manipulated um, or changed before being infused back into the patient. All right, Troy, next slide. So lastly, um, our third type of gene therapy administration, we have um, gene editing. So gene editing is a highly precise um, technology. It removes or corrects pieces of the DNA rather than replacing the gene. So in traditional gene therapy, we're actually replacing the gene in the body with um, gene editing where we're correcting the gene. So um, this can be done within the patient body or outside of the patient body. And again, it can be done with the patient cells or with donor cells. Um, and a common method is um, what I have listed here, CRISPR. So with that, that gives you a little bit of background on the process of gene therapy, or I should say processes, um, since we have mu multiple processes, and I'm gonna turn it back over to Troy, and he's gonna start talking to you a little bit about uh, the CGMPs and phasing those in.